Hello everyone, welcome back to the multi-threading programming in C Sharp. In this video, we will see how we can resolve a deadlock in a multi-threading in a C Sharp program. In the previous video, we have we discussed how a deadlock can occur in a C Sharp program. So for resolving a deadlock in a program, like there are many ways we can resolve it. We can do um, using the acquiring log in a specific order. That is the first way we can do it using the monitor dot try enter and using the mutex also. So these all these things we have already discussed in our previous videos. So let's go back and see like in the previous uh, leave what we did. So when I run this application, so this is the previous example which we uh, were working in the last uh, video and where we can see like here two thread trying to access the same code at the same time and we can see it is the deadlock is coming and the reason is like thread one acquire an exclusive lock on the like account id 501 and then do some processing and same time thread two also started and it acquire an exclusive lock on the like uh, on this ATM details on 502 and then do some work on that also. Then thread one back and wants to acquire for the previous thread, which is already taken by the taken to um, sorry, the thread two. similar th thread to back and want to acquire uh, a lock for the previous thread. And that is the thread ones and hence the deadlock occurs. So now for avoid this deadlock, what we can do is like we have to make some changes and that changes is basically related to we will do first the specific order and that we can do like what changes we have to make here. So basically for making a changes like what we have done now, if you will see this program, we are locking over this uh, like whatever the uh, um, amount like thread one and thread two according to that we are locking but we will make some changes and that changes is basically like what we are checking if the f first we took two variable and that is the lock one and lock two and we are checking like if the id like the from atm id is less than the two atm id then what we are doing we are assigning those object into the lock one and lock two and vice versa we are doing the same and instead of here like instead of checking that from atm and to atm lock what we are doing we are checking these the object which we assign here and that we can see here like we are checking with this locking system so now after doing that one we can see like it will not give the deadlock so let's implement it in our c sharp and c so now here you will see like the changes which I have already done here as we seen in the image previously. So here like we took two local variables and based on that ID we are checking and assigning those uh, object values into the log one and the log two. So instead directly locking over this from ATM and to ATM that is coming what we are doing we are going to lock the local variable and based on that we generally what we are doing we are checking the like how it is behaving so now let's run this application and see so once we will run this application we will see now t1 thread trying to slip for one uh, like for one minute and then we can see t1 acquire lock on 502 and that is basically is coming inside the lock 2 and similar to that one t1 is also trying to do the same job and then we can see like after the thread to acquire the lock the main logic of the transfer is started and that is we have written here and after that the main thread completed so this is the way like we can uh, resolve the deadlock by using the specific order it of resolving the deadlock is basically by using the to uh, using the monitor so in this what we have to do we have to make some changes and basically like previously what here we are doing we are creating a local object and then we are assigning that particular values to those object and based on that we are checking like that id is less than or greater than but in case of this monitor like we can see like first like whatever the lock we are making over the from atm then if the first thread comes into this one then it is sleeping 
now for the second thread like we are using the try enter and we can see like in this the second parameter of monitor dot try enter method takes time out in millisecond and using that parameter we can specify a time out for the thread to release the log if the thread is holding a resource for a long time while the other thread is waiting the monitor will provide a time limit and force the log to release so that the other thread will enter into the this logic or the critical section so for an example my th uh, thread one is coming and it is doing some operation in the same time the another thread is also coming and try to ac acquire like to do some operation with this and that particular thread is not able to complete the operation within this three second then what will happen that will come to the else part and it will say like that thread unable to acquire lock on this one and it will be exit from there so this is we can handle using this monitor dot try enter so let's do it in the visual studio and the same we have done here and you can see like the logic which we have written there is the same here now if i will run this application at point of this time let's see what output we get and we can see like both the thread is doing their work and like acquire the log for like both the th uh, like threads and then we can see like t1 and t2 unable to acquire because because of the deadlock is basically like they are not doing this operation so like basically okay so what we will do let's make some what i will do here i will write even console dot write line and inside this one logic is working and here i will say this thread thread is in exit so instead of this one i will put it here now let's run this application again and then we will see like which thread is going to exit and which thread is going to not exit so both the uh, trying to acquire the log and we can see like because of the deadlock like one thread is trying to act like not able to complete the operation within three seconds so both the uh, like uh, threads is what is uh, doing like they are unable to acquire the log and they are exiting so this is the way like what we can so we can get rid of this deadlock issue like now the deadlock is not coming and all the operation is working but in the case of the specific uh, like the order we are able to see like this operation was working so like how we can resolve from the deadlock like we want like in our application deadlock should not happen then we can use our approach as per our desire so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you